Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how we can create an amorphic bokeh effect inside 3ds Max. As you can see, here we have two kinds of bokeh effect, a standard bokeh effect and an amorphic cinematic bokeh effect. Most of the people using this kind of effect inside their works because it is the default setting of their camera. And these anamorphic cinematic effects uses a lot in film industry and filmmakers use this kind of effects in their works, in their films. And in this video, we want to learn how we can turn these effects to these cinematic uh, anamorphic bokeh effects. Okay. Here I have my 3ds Max is already open and it has been linked to TQS Vantage as you can see here uh, through the live link button here it is on already and uh, the reason why I'm using the QS Vantage is just because of the speed and I want to see the results very quickly and QS Vantage will do the job uh, as you can see here when I do any changing inside my 3ds Max you will see the result immediately in QS Vantage viewport it is a good choice to see the preview of the animation or preview of the rendering in less than a second okay for creating a bokeh effects it is very simple you have to use a viewer physical camera or any kind of camera it doesn't matter what kind of render engine you are using V-Ray, Corona or Arnold render uh, you have to just use this kind of settings inside your cameras first of all you need to select your camera uh, you can see that I'm using a very physical camera here in this scene and uh, turn on the depth of field and after that you can uh, change your focal lens to a better lens like 50 millimeters you can see the result here and I'm using the F number of 2.2 you can see immediately the result here and after that you need to play with the bokeh effects here if you use blades for example like 2 3 you can see that the bokeh effects is just like a triangle and we don't need this effect we can simply turn it off turn the place off to have a more circular rounded shape the most important thing here is a nice tropy value if you check the Google in Vray documentation you will notice here about the bokeh effects here that uh, if you need for an amorphic bokeh you have to use the value and it is just like that it is the minus 0 0.353 you have to use this exact value to simulate the anamorphic cinematic lens okay I am just using this value minus 0 0.353 and you can see here the result the spherical shapes will immediately changes to the oval shape and it is much more attractive much more cinematic than the default spherical uh, standard bokeh effects you can even make it more beautiful uh, by using the center bias if you increase this uh, this value for example like one you will notice that the outer edge will brighter than the middle of the shape it is much more beautiful than before even you can use the uh, negative value like minus one you will notice that the center is now brighter than the outer edge and I don't like it I like to put it on one because I like this effect it's very beautiful it's much more attractive to me and that's it for today's video very easy and very simple hope you find it useful and if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel here is my channel and turn on notification thanks for the watching and take care